Hey there, good evening. We're gonna be talking in this video about drawing a belt pattern. Now, I'm gonna be using some of the basic fundamentals from my online drawing course and show you how even the most intricate of uh, custom patterns is gonna start with those basic fundamentals. So what I have here to start with is just basically a paper blank of this belt. It's a inch and a half width, I have my holes marked, and it's the full length of this belt with my snaps snap holes marked there as well. Um, one thing I do is I go ahead and sketch in that stitch line too. Nothing perfect, but just a little dash there. Kind of reminds me as I'm as I'm drawing to make sure and leave room there for those stitches. Uh, now this particular belt, we have initials on the end here, so um, without giving away any surprises, I think we can still roll initials out there. But it's actually a TS, so I'm gonna lay those kind of initials in here. Just a real rough sketch on where where I want those at. But it gives me an idea on how I'm gonna go when I start um, laying this out. And I'm gonna bring my, my floral work actually in through these initials and kind of wind that in there. I don't know exactly how it's gonna look yet, but we're just gonna get the, the basic skeleton of this kind of laid out and put together here, so. Again, if you, you guys have taken this course, some of this stuff's gonna kind of give you a light bulb moment, like, oh, hey, I've seen that, and I know how to apply that idea. But uh, we're gonna keep rolling this around here. Hello, hello, appreciate you guys jumping on here. See you guys saying hi. Ah, my Aussie friends are up with me. It is morning time tomorrow for you guys, so <laughs> that is great. Yeah, if I'm up early, you guys are up late, and if I'm up late, you guys are up early. Now I got, again, these holes marked, and we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just sketch some of this skeleton work right in here through here because I'm gonna I'm not worried about my holes at this point we're gonna tool right on through there on this belt make sure I'm staying in camera here also if you've gone through the tooling course with me these lines are gonna look pretty familiar if you've done through uh, any of the practice uh, knife work cuts that we've done, because that's gonna be that same fundamental part of uh, what we do here. Uh, how much stitch line do you allow? Um, without being exact, I say some. <laughs> um, uh, my stitch line usually comes in about an eighth of an inch is where I actually stitch at. Um, ish so I can tool pretty much almost just up to there but I like coming coming in off of it a little bit um, I will, I'll push that envelope a little bit and sometimes some of my belts I may be stitching right in a bevel line almost and that stitch almost hides itself next to some of the tooling but somewhere between an eighth and a quarter is going to be what you're going to need to to leave there. Okay. Now. Again, this is kind of that basic fundamental uh, kind of the skeleton of my pattern that I'm laying in here and we can add to this as we go too so once we start getting 
get a little more detail, we may decide to, you know, to bring something all the way around and roll it back in. We might put a, make one of these into a leaf stem coming around there. We can lay a leaf in. There's all kinds of things we can do. This one that we rolled around here, maybe we make that a, maybe that turns into a little flower stem. We can tuck a little flower in there. Lots of things we can do here. This one we might. Make a little kind of a swirl on that one. We can come around here. Maybe we'll turn this over and make a kind of a turned over stump right here. We can do that too. See what else we can turn this skeleton stuff into here. We'll come around, maybe we'll Drop a flower, kind of a closed bud over top there, rolling back over top. bring that open swirl around in there so there's lots of options we can do now, I'm not going to necessarily keep all these in these places we might switch them around a little bit but you have the idea that we can build on this however we want to there um, we want to get we can just get wild here and Throw that the other way. Lay a feather in on top of that. We do all sorts of things. You'll notice too, this is kind of just more technique than anything, but how I'm, I'm kind of sketching real light as I go. When, I, when I'm sketching light like that, I can build things in. So like I said, this one here, this comes around. Well, maybe I want to kind of turn that into a... A bit of a stump there. We can build some ridges on the outside of that. Um, now all this stuff's gonna take refinement, right? That's obviously not a finished pattern, but we're getting the flow of it. And that's kind of really what I wanted to show here. When this when this belt gets done, I'm really excited about this belt. Actually, it's going to be a pretty awesome uh, full kind of full custom pattern. But um, it's going to wind up being pretty intricate. 
dyed borders, dyed backgrounds, of all the works. Um, it's gonna get a verse of scripture mixed in our tooling in the back here. So I'm gonna have that kind of intermingled where the vine works going in and out of the letters. So it's gonna look, look pretty cool. But how we start this pattern is using the same basic fundamentals I teach in that drawing course. And any, whatever level you get to, it still comes back to your basic fundamentals. So don't, uh, don't get discouraged if you're trying to skip the steps and just think of what the fanciest stuff is you can do or uh, things like that. If you're running into troubles with it, take your time, learn your fundamentals, then you can kind of start stretching the, stretching the bounds on there and what you're going to do with them and create new new twists to things and maybe it's a matter of different flowers or different petals or different leaves or kind of a combination of lots of things but you're still gonna have some of that basic flow as you go to set in and then from there we can build in um, to what you want to do now this doesn't have to be exactly like this. If I wanted something that was a little longer and stretched out, flip this over and show you here. And we could we could stretch that out there. And it gives you, again, just a, a base to go on. We can throw just some big longer stumps in through here and create a pattern that flows as well. But it still starts with running that rough uh, skeleton in where you want that to go so anyhow I hope this helps um, if if you're into tackling drawing your own patterns um, and having some troubles with it going back to those basics can can help a lot um, and just be encouraged it takes time it's not a it's not a quick process learning this stuff but um, but it's not impossible either so give yourself time be patient any questions shoot those at me um, it helps with video ideas and i'd like to just be teaching what you guys want to learn uh, and helping some helping some people out there so have a great evening and we will catch you next time